Do you have any food? Yes, I have any food. 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 Not, you need not to feed bees, they feed themselves. Uh, you just trap when they enter, that's all. You just what you have to do is to create a better condition where they can make honey. So, uh, when you're going to do beekeeping, bees some people are scared of bees, but bees are friendly if you're friendly to them. Most of the people in, in Uganda, those who are do it, was, it was one of the games or one of the games that was done by people in ancient times but now people have adopted it as an economic activity and they're doing it on a large scale and they're earning a lot in beekeeping uh, as after the workshop in July I also tried I said I should try beekeeping there was a gentleman who was our main facilitator who was teaching us how to keep bees I after the workshop I I was I made friendship with him and he has trained me in different ways how to harvest, how to trap. So when we are going to try it, when we are keeping bees, bees are kept in a beehive. We have two types of hives. We have the local hives and we have the modern hives. The modern hive is called the Chigeze hive. And then this local one, it is just weaved like a basket. With me, I have a local hive here. This one I just weave it with a basket and then I seal it with dung, with cow dung. I seal it and I have to put an iron sheet to prevent water from entering this beehive. Because when water enters this beehive, uh, these bees, they will be disturbed and if they are disturbed, then they have to disappear. So we have to create a condition. For example, you have to protect them. This is a cavera that does not allow water to enter through and it acts uh, it, it regulates heat. This one, when when this when this iron sheet is heated, this cover helps us to to regulate the heat. That uh, the reason the, the the heat is not too much and it's not too little. For the bees, they create their own heat that helps them to make honey. So that's why I have to protect it, and I have to put it in a place where it, they can't be disturbed. Uh, this local hive. Uh, the way it's made, it attracts bees easily. So we use we usually use it for trapping. So uh, we put it in a place that is convenient, where this, where we, where sunshine can reach, that they can get heat. This one, where sunshine can reach. So when you look at this this type of this tree, it's short, and it can allow light to pass through. After the bees have entered, then we have to transfer the bees from this hive. We get the queen from this, then we take it to a modern hive. Which, when, when we transfer the queen, also the bees will follow their queen to the modern hive. And when they reach there, the other hive is made in a way that will help the bees to make a lot of honey. So, we 
you can put it there. This is our farm. Our farm has three sections. It has one section down there. It has this section and it has the other section. We put them on these metallic stands. Reason why I put them on these metallic stands, this metallic stand it, it does not this when okay, pe some people make wooden stands. These wooden stands they can easily rot and this beehive will fall. And after falling, the bees have to, they have to go out of the hive. So we have to create to, to put something that is permanent that this this hive can stay here for more than 15 years and we don't face them the same direction we face them we face where they enter there they where they enter from we face them in different directions so when you look at these hives the other one is facing the other side the other one the other side the other and the other yeah. side we are going to plant caliandra trees those ones we plant we plant them within the hives so when they grow up it creates a condition that the bees are in a, they, for, for it, it thinks that it's in a, it's in a, a, a safe place. Eh? So we have to put them in a place where they can, uh, where they can get heat from the sun. They like sun, sunlight, because this sunlight helps them in the manufacturing of what? In the manufacturing of honey. So we have these covers. This cover, this cover is not good. This one is not so good because it does not regulate heat. What we do, uh, these hives where there is where we transferred, we get this cover and we have to put we have to put wood that helps you to regulate the temperatures like this. So the bees need that temperature. They need uh, moderate temperatures to do what to, to, to make more more honey. In this farm, we are planning to put more than 300 hives. So we shall be transferring them, bringing them in this place. Bees, they are very important. We get honey and they help us in, what, in pollination. Most of our plants, they need bees. So I just ask people uh, also to, to adopt this. Let them try to keep bees. They are very important. Uh, and if you and the honey is, is really expensive. This hive. When you create it, when you create a good atmosphere, you find that we harvest 10 liters of honey from one hive. That is 20 kilograms. So we harvest honey uh, every after three months. We think now, now by this time, they are looking after young ones. They have hatched eggs. They, 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 now the eggs have uh, the eggs have hatched. Now they are looking after their young ones. So after the young ones have grown they will have to go out with their queen. Then they enter another what? Another hive. And then after the other ones have gone, these ones, the ones that have remained, will have a feast. That feast, if you don't harvest the honey, when they have gone, they are going to have a, a feast and they are going to take all the honey. Yeah, so we harvest this every, after, every darkness after two months. When the moon has gone, now we are seeing the moon now is bright. But in that darkness that is coming, it will be it will be a good time for harvesting.